So the woman named Zoe in Australia is out of jail. Um, it's interesting, I realized um, making that little video in my pajamas yesterday, I must have been, uh, well I jumped out of bed because um, I had found out about it on my phone before getting up and um, so <laughs> I'm, it was unconsciously maybe in uh, solidarity with her to make that video in my own pajamas while she was being arrested in hers. So um, probably most of you have also seen the little quip of her on the news being interviewed and it was pretty, um, we're all relieved to see her. I don't know if she's uh, being charged, if she was charged with something. If, I don't know if she has a criminal charge against her. Um, nothing was said about that, but what was clear was that she had been cowed into uh, submission, um, which probably any of us would, would do the same. And um, her, her statement that she didn't know she wasn't supposed to do that, <laughs> that being making a, a you know, a private uh, a post or a, a post on her social, on Facebook about is there going to be a, a, a protest. Um, the police come in and arrest her and then also saying that the police were very nice to her. Smacks of uh, Stockholm Syndrome, you know, you're so intimidated that you are so grateful to your captors for any kind of kindness. And that's chilling in itself. So, you know, I, I was having some thoughts about all of this, seeing this coming down around the world. We, we know darn well that horrid things are going on in China. We know that Hong Kong, the people of Hong Kong are now living with this terrible threat. But we're not, uh, I, I haven't seen any viral videos of, you know, uh, human rights um, atrocities there. I'm sure they're going on. Um, it just struck me how, well, it's interesting that when people are of the same, um, we speak the same language and we have more similar cultures, that it, then it hits home a little deeper and harder all of a sudden. And that's not any kind of apology for some kind of implicit racism. It's not. It's, it's more to do with language and culture. And the West... We, we've known that the Chinese have had a dictatorship for years and years and years, right? So we've taken that for granted. We've also taken for granted that the West is the free world. And when we're show, so shockingly being shown that that is no longer the case, and bit by bit, every day, the intrusions get a little more um, uh, obvious, Although, for me, this has been obvious since day one of the whole COVID enterprise. But when more and more of us realize um, that it's not a pandemic, that that whole thing is a scam and it's being used as, a, as, a, as a, an excuse to, um, to, to dominate the, the entire population of the earth, it's just chilling. So those are the thoughts I wanted to share for today. And uh, we'll see what happens in the next 24 hours. Bye.